the cameras in our smartphones. They connect us to the world around us in a very immediate way. They help us save a moment, capture memories, and communicate. But with advances in AI and computer vision that you heard Sundar talk about, we said, what if the cameras can do more? What if the cameras can help us answer questions? Questions like, where am I going? Or what's that in front of me? Let me paint a familiar picture. You exit the subway. You're already running late for an appointment or a tech company conference. That happens. Uh, and then your, your phone says, head south on Market Street. So what do you do? One problem, you have no idea which way is south. So you look down at the phone. You're looking at that blue dot on the map. And you're starting to walk to see if it's moving in the same direction. If it's not, you're turning around. We've all been there. So we asked ourselves, well, what if the camera can help us here? Our teams have been working really hard to combine the power of the camera, the computer vision, with street view and maps to reimagine walking navigation. So here's how it could look like in Google Maps. Let's take a look. You open the camera. You instantly. You instantly know where you are. No fussing with the phone. You, you, all the information on the map, the street names, the directions, right there in front of you. Notice that you also see the map, so that way you stay oriented. Uh, you can start to see nearby places, so you see what's around you. And just for fun, our team's been playing with an idea of adding a helpful guide <laughs> like that there, <laughs> so that it can show you the way. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> Pretty cool. Now, enabling these kinds of experiences, though, GPS alone doesn't cut it. So that's why we've been working on what we call VPS, Visual Positioning System, that can estimate precise positioning and orientation. One, one way to think about the key insight here is, just like you and I, when we are in an unfamiliar place, you're looking for visual landmarks, you're looking for the storefront, the building facades, etc. And it's the same idea. VPS uses the visual features in the environment to do the same. So that way, we help you figure out exactly where you are and get you exactly where you need to go. Pretty cool. So that's an example how, how we are using the camera to help you in maps. But we think the camera can also help you do more with what you see. That's why we started working on Google Lens. Now, people are already using it for all sorts of answers and especially when the questions are difficult to describe in words. Answers like, oh, that cute dog in the park, that's a labradoodle. Or this building in Chicago is the Wrigley Building, and it's 425 feet tall. Or as my nine-year-old son says these days, that's more than 60 Kevin Durants. <laughs> now, today, Lens is a capability in Google products, like Photos and the Assistant. But we're very excited that starting next week, Lens will be integrated right inside the camera app on the Pixel, the new LG G7, and a lot more devices. This way, it makes it super easy for you to use Lens on things right in front of you already in the camera. Very excited to see this. Now, like voice, vision is a fundamental shift in computing for us. And it's a multi-year journey. But we're already making a lot of progress. So today, I thought I'd show you three new features in Google Lens that can give you more answers to more types of questions more quickly. Shall we take a look? All right. OK, first, Lens can now recognize and understand words. Words are everywhere. If you think about it, traffic signs, posters, restaurant menus, business cards. But now, with smart text selection, you can now connect the words you see with the answers and actions you need. So you can do things like copy and paste from the real world directly into your phone. Just like that. <laughs> or let's say you're looking at, or, or you can pay, turn a page of words into a page of answers. So for example, you're looking at a restaurant menu. You can quickly tap around figure out every dish, what it looks like, what are all the ingredients, etc. By the way, as a vegetarian, good to know, ratatouille, just zucchini and tomatoes. <laughs> really cool. Now, in these examples, Lens is not just understanding the shape of characters and the letters visually. 
It's also actually trying to get at the meaning and the context behind these words. And that's where all the language understanding that you heard Scott talk about really comes in handy. OK, the next feature I want to talk about is called style match. And the idea is this. Sometimes your question is not, oh, what's that exact thing? Instead, your question is, what are things like it? You're at your friend's place. You check out this trendy-looking lamp. And you want to know things that match that style. And now Lens can help you. Or if you see an outfit that catches your eye, you can simply open the camera, tap on any item, and find out, of course, specific information, like reviews, et cetera, of any specific item. But you can also see all the things and browse around that match that style. Now, there's two parts to it. Of course, Lens has to search through millions and millions of items. But we kind of know how to do that search. But the other part actually complicates things, which is there can be different textures, shapes, sizes, angles, lighting conditions, etc. So it's a tough technical problem. Uh, but we're making a lot of progress here and really excited about it. So the last thing I want to tell you about today is how we're making lens work in real time. So as you saw in the style match example, you start to see, you, you open the camera, and you start to see lens surface proactively all the information instantly. And it even anchors that information to the things that you see. Now, this kind of thing, where it's sifting through billions of words, phrases, places, things just in real time to give you what you need, not possible without machine learning. So we are using both on-device intelligence, but also tapping into the power of cloud TPUs, which we announced last year at I.O., uh, to get this done. Really excited. And in, over time, what we want to do is actually overlay the live results directly on top of things like storefronts, street signs, or a concert poster. So you can simply point your phone at a concert poster of uh, Charlie Puth, and the music video just starts to play, just like that. This is an example of how the camera is not just answering questions, but it is putting the answers right where the questions are. And it's very exciting. So smart text selection, style match, real-time results, all coming to Lens in the next few weeks. Please check them out.